Mani Cartagena, your Bini Bini 29 from the province of Rizal. We're here right now at the Adlib Studio at Kia Theater. Visit them to learn more about dancing and groovy. Come on! too loud because you're going like that or you're trying to leave <laughs> Hi, I'm Vinny Vinny 21. Hannah Constantino Arnold from Masbate. My greatest achievement in life was recently becoming a professional model because I have now become very independent. I have so many blessings from these projects that I am now able to provide for my relatives, travel around the Philippines, and most importantly, I am now able to build a library in Barangay Minyo, Masbate. I am a Bini Bini because I have a heart as golden as a crown and I wear a sash of responsibility and compassion across my heart. Ten. Uh, between 20 million cash or the Bini Bini Filipinas title, of course I will choose the title because from this I will be able to do even more projects and hopefully get more sponsors that will be willing to give more money, not for me, but to my charities and advocacies. For more updates, please follow the official Bini Bini Filipinas pages on social media. And don't forget to use the hashtag, hashtag BVPilipinas2020 and hashtag IamBiniBini. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Isang makulimlim at malamig na hapon po sa inyo lahat. I am your ENP correspondent, Dale. And today is another beautiful day because we have... Again, uh, the beautiful and the sensational, and one of the one of the most talked about uh, beauty queen of our time, ladies and gentlemen. I give to you, uh, Bini Bini Filipinas 2020 candidate from Masbate, Miss Hannah Arnold. Hi, hi, Kuya Dale. Hi, um, thank you, Entertainment News Portal, for having me. Hi, everyone. Thank you for watching and for joining us. Yay! <laughs> yes, thank you very much for giving us this time. And uh, to our viewers, thank you very much for tuning in. Please don't forget to write down your questions if you have. Just write it on the comment section of our live. And um, if you want a message from our, if you have a message for our guest for today, just uh, write it down in the comment section. And if, if you want a shout out from our uh, queen this afternoon, please write it down on our comment section. And this is, by the way, ENP exclusive. Okay, uh, this live chat interview is sim simultaneously broadcast on our official Facebook page, on our official website, and on our official YouTube channel. Okay, so you have three fla platforms <laughs> in order to watch this live chat interview. Okay, so there, Hannah. Okay, the first thing that I would like to know is that um, New Zealand is actually uh, getting or is very successful now in fighting COVID-19. Now, I just want to know the, the condi your condition there in Australia. Are you on the road 
of uh of having the victory towards this COVID-19. Um, yes, I do want to give a big shout out to New Zealand, especially the Prime Minister. She has been doing an amazing job. Um, I think Australia is doing pretty well at the moment. Unfortunately, we did have a big spy spike of cases overnight in Melbourne. Um, I'm in Canberra, so we haven't had any new cases. We're very fortunate for that because our borders are still closed. So interstate travel is still not allowed. So I think that's why we're on the way to um, clearing it. And we don't have many international flights coming in anymore. I think all of the citizens are back home. So I think the um, Prime Minister here and the government uh, are doing their best. And hopefully we will see um, Australia to be COVID free also. And hopefully we'll be able to welcome tourists and visitors and family very soon. Um, can you tell us how resilient our, Austra our Australian are? Because it is not actually the first uh, incident, or this this pandemic is not, is not actually the first incident that happened to Australia. Because um, in the last quarter of 2019, there is a bushfire. So uh, how did the Australian handle everything? Yes. Um, so when I was here in December for Christmas, all of us were already wearing face masks because the smell from the bushfires, it was so strong. The smoke was covering the skies. You couldn't see anything. So unfortunately, we already had a shortage of face masks back then. Um, so, you know, it wasn't a big change for us to suddenly need to wear it for the virus. Um, and unfortunately, that's something that a lot of people forgot that when they were telling us to stay home, a lot of people lost their homes in the bushfires. So they didn't have a home to go into. And some people are still um, building their homes and still needing um, charity donations. So it has been quite difficult for a lot of Australians. I'm very fortunate that the bushfires didn't reach Canberra. Um, but yeah, I definitely, like you've said, Australians are very resilient and they're even still donating to look after the koalas and kangaroos and um, definitely no one gets left behind. And I can definitely see that also in the Philippines. Everyone is reaching out um, for their neighbours and it's really up to each citizen themselves to yeah, look out for who needs help and help one another. So I'm very happy that it's not only here in Australia, but Philippines and other countries that we've seen. What was the what was I, I just want to know what was the government the your government there in Australia's action to uh this family who lost their home and to these people who lost their job due this uh during this uh pandemic. Mm -hmm. Um so bushfires aren't a new thing for Australia. Unfortunately every year the summer is so hot. Um even in my house we prepare uh, ice buckets, uh, I mean, not ice buckets, water buckets around the house. Um, we fill the bathtub with water. So everyone's always waiting for a bushfire to come through, which is a sad reality here because it's so hot and dry. So um, the government always has an emergency um, relief uh, program ready. And I think they're still distributing for those people that lost their homes. And also, um, from taxes that people pay, they were able to provide money to job seekers and job keepers. So there's two different programs here. Um, if you were a casual worker and the pandemic happened, um, you were able to apply and um, you were still getting paid. Um, so it's a bit hard to explain, but so the government was still giving money to you if you had your job, but you weren't physically going there. Um, due to the restrictions and then the people that lost their jobs they were given another payment called job seeker um, so I don't know what all the requirements were because um, I obviously didn't qualify because I was in the Philippines um, but yeah we're very lucky that they have that financial aid for for people here yeah yeah, you know that's uh, one uh, one of the most beautiful uh, fact about countries like you know, Australia, those big countries having a more stable economy. Now, um, uh, from a point of view who has, who, who is uh, also a science inclined like you, of course, you're a forensic. Um, 
what do you think is lacking here in the Philippines? Because um, it, every day it's getting worse. So, so we, we are now reaching at the 35,000 number of cases uh, positive in COVID-19. What do you think is lacking? Is it actually the government or the people? Um, well, it is. it is a bit hard to say because this pandemic is something that um, the virus, it's invisible, so we can't really see where it's going. And um, But what I can say, like you've said, what's lacking it would definitely just be the mass testing because here in Australia they um, figured out where the mass testing locations would be quite early on and they made sure it was free and accessible and you were able to go whenever you needed to and the results came quite quickly and that's how they were able to track everyone and make sure they um, – th then – from there, the people were able to um, discipline themselves and make sure they don't spread it to anyone else. So I think that's just where um, the Philippines needs to catch up on. I, we definitely need the free mass testing. Yes, definitely. And I, sir, I also believe that the local government, the LGU, should work really uh, hard and wisely on finding ways on how this mass testing would be very possible for everyone. Now, um, you've mentioned a while ago on the video that one of your milestones is becoming a model here. Of course, we know you're on a, uh, you have a billboard. Now, I, I want to know what was actually, uh, what, was, what, what was your first reaction when you first saw your big, your big, billboard that one earth organics <laughs> yes oh my gosh so um i can't remember if i've told this story to many people but um whenever i would land in the philippines my mom and i would always joke that oh one day that will be me on a billboard and the night that i moved to the philippines we saw one and i don't know why but i was really just staring at the girl and i was like wow she's so beautiful and like, I want to know what her product is like that. And so my mom told me, don't worry, that will be you. Just keep on, like, thinking positively. Keep on, like, praying and saying it to the universe. And then um, it's really creepy, but October uh, 2018, I was on my way to watch. Maybe it was Miss World or something. I was on my way yeah. there because I hardly went out of the house in 2018. So I went along Edsa and I was like, wow, all of these billboards. And then I took um, a Snapchat of, I think it was um, Kathleen. Uh, I mean, Catherine Bernardo. I wasn't sure. And um, I took a billboard uh, a snap of her and I was like oh my god one day that will be me but I was joking but I posted it on my snapchat and then um the exact same date uh in 2019 I got uh, a picture preview from one earth organics and they told me Hannah this is your what your billboard will look like and it was crazy that it was exactly one year later from when I posted that video where I was joking that that would be me one day and so I was just like oh my gosh that's me it's really me my underarm is gonna be there and then when um it was going to come out. I didn't actually know when it was going to be put up. And I remember I came out from um, Aces and Queens training and I was like, oh, what's all these notifications? And one of the fans had tagged me that they had gone past it. And that's when I, I'm pretty sure I screamed. I think I was with like Pat, uh, maybe April Smith and I can't remember who else, but I was just like, guys, like my billboard. And then when I saw it for the first time, I was with uh, the team of One Earth Organic. So they picked me up for lunch and then we slowed down very slowly as we went past. We put the window down and they let me just soak it in and I was very grateful for them that they were the ones that took me there for the first time um I really wanted to jump out of the window and like go touch it um but of course that's bad stay in your car <laughs> um, yeah so I think I was silent also because I was videoing so I was just like <gasps> um so yeah it, it was surreal and also, when I left uh, the Philippines to come here, um, Edsa was empty. So, again, when I went past, yeah. I, yeah, I was yeah. like, 
it was weird because we're used to being um, Edsa being so busy. And so when it was empty, I was like, oh my God, and my Kili Kili is still there. And so that was weird also. But yeah, I think, I'm not sure if it's still up right now, but um, just very grateful for them for thinking that I would be a good ambassador for it. And yeah, I hope everyone liked seeing my Kili Kili. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, can you tell us the story behind that, behind uh, being the brand ambassador of One Earth Organics? How did you infiltrate One Earth Organics, or did they send, uh, have they sent you uh, uh, an offer, or is it coming from uh, uh, someone from Aces and Queens? So how did um, it start? Yeah, so um, it's not from Aces and Queens. Um, I'm a Mercator model. So actually, um, Miss uh, Tiff, Miss Tiff, so Miss Tiffany, um, she's the owner of One Earth Organics, and she's actually a distant cousin of April Short. So her name's Ooh. Tiffany Short, and she watched Beanie Beanie last year, and she told me that she really liked me, and of course April, because April's her relative. Yeah. And then um, she's never really had a big campaign for One Earth Organics because um, it just started off quite small. And so when it was, it finally came time for them to do a big campaign. I'm not sure if many people saw it, but. Um, it was a very diverse shoot. We had um, a mom, we had a plus size model, a transgender model, me, um, uh, a model who shaved her hair, you know, which for girls, you know, people um, judge that, but she was so beautiful and confident. We had a um, senior citizen who is like so fashionable. Um, so, you know, it was amazing. And I was shocked that I was one of the girls chosen, but it was because she looked um, through Mercator and asked like, who is a good model? And then when she actually saw me, she remembered me from Bini Bini and that's why she chose me for it. Um, oh yeah, there we go. That's one of the yeah. shoes, which was so beautiful, like, cause it's organic. So, you know, you're, you're there <laughs> in this beautiful setting. And when you use it, you know, your skin and everything is beautiful looked after very well by these products um also not being paid to say that but i truly love these products um and from there it was actually supposed to be just this photo shoot and then when miss tiff came on set she whispered to the team i want to do a billboard and i want hannah and that's when <laughs> they came over and told me hannah you're gonna stay behind a few more hours and you're gonna shoot for the billboard. And my road manager and I were like, oh my God. And then um, we had to call Mercator to make sure Mama Mal approved and like that it wasn't um, going against any other contracts. And because if you join Bini Bini, you can't have any lockouts. So they had to quickly organize it and make sure um, it was allowed. So it was amazing that Miss Tiff believed in me so much. And she even messages me all the time, making sure I'm okay and asking if I need anything, any more products. So yeah, I'm super grateful for them. Yeah, yes. And uh, I'm, we're truly proud of what really happened to you. Yay, thank well, you. <clears throat> you know, um, I just want to know your reaction when people say that uh, Hannah is one of the busiest and <laughs> most popular most productive queen of 2019. <laughs> well, I'm not a queen. I was just a candidate. But <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. You are. You, you are. You are. <laughs> oh, thank once, you. Remember, once a Bini Bini, always a Bini Bini. Yes, that's true. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, I didn't see it coming that I would be that busy. Um, and I never felt like it was work or anything because every day is a brand new experience. I never even knew there was so many studios in like Makati. Like they'll send you the address that you're at this studio today. And I'm like, whoa, I was just in the other one. Where's this one? And so some days I'd get a bit lost, but that was all a part of the learning experience. And yeah, I'm very grateful that everyone kept up to date with what I was doing. Um, even some fashion shows, you would be in the crowd, surprisingly, or, you know, other fans. And then I did think, oh, wow, everyone was here. I didn't know. So I'm very grateful that everyone, um, yeah, even bought magazines that I was in. So very, very grateful. <laughs> well, actually, I remember, uh, well, we're familiar with some 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 of your gigs that, like, you, you, you've, you've, you're updating us. Okay, I'm going here, I'm going there. But, <laughs> and you're... 
eh, sometimes you are saying that you're going to take ang kas. Yes. Because <laughs> so, I'm always you, late. You, <laughs> yes, and you, you are actually a patron of Angkas. Now, how would you, um, okay, knowing that we are facing now this pandemic and a lot of, there's a lot of restriction now, particularly in uh, in the mode of modes of transportation. Now, how would you recommend Angkas if if there's no pandemic? Mm-hmm. Knowing uh, how would you recommend it as uh, as an as uh, as someone who is using Angkas? Oh, okay. Well, I have seen that. Um, I think they're gonna bring it back, right? Which is amazing. Um, so for me as a model, um, because I lived in Fairview, all of the jobs are in yeah. Makati, and. Every time you book, you'll get a reply straight away that someone is nearby to take you. And all of the drivers, like, honestly, I'm not paid or anything for this. Um, They really drive like they're taking care of you. So I'm used to going with my cousin and he really um, looks after me because he's scared my mom will get angry if something happens. So you feel the same when you're with these queers. And every time you stop at a traffic light, they'll ask you, like, are you okay? And sometimes you can't hear because of the helmet. You're just like, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, huh? Um, so they really look after you and it's comfortable. I enjoy it. I get some vitamin C. Um, even when it's raining sometimes, you know, you have to take it because traffic is crazy but they'll look after yeah. you they'll, they'll provide you with the the mask the hair net um i really miss it actually <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I, I i want people to um yes because some people are a bit scared of it even isabella she hasn't been on it so you know i think a lot of people need to give it a try mm. yeah well uh maybe uh soon um when isa arrived here in manila <laughs> then we will encourage her to, yeah. to use Angkas. Yeah. Okay. Well, only so, if you need uh, to get somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And there's no Angkas in Australia, right? No, it, you don't really see any motorbikes here. Um, yeah. There's probably only one or two in Canberra. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you have a good subway system. A um, very good subway. Actually, in Canberra, we don't have any. But in, in Sydney and, and Melbourne, yes. Okay. Now, um, recently, uh, Pia Wurzbach, our Miss Universe, the most loved Miss Universe of the Philippines, is actually stalking your social media. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what, what is going into your mind? That, like, oh, Ate Pia is liking my post. Ate Pia is like, <laughs> what was going into your mind when uh, a Miss Universe, Pia Wurzbach, is actually uh, on a... Uh, uh, she's actually on your social media viewing your posts and liking it um i was actually talking about this today with my god sister because um we used to just talk about how beautiful pia was and how amazing it would be to be like her so um i still can't believe that i'm actually talking to her that i see her in person and the fact that she's looking at what i look like now um I don't know, it, it's a bit um, scary, it's a bit crazy, um, but I'm very grateful that it just means that she believes in me maybe, that she wants to look at what I'm up to. Because um, yeah, I remember the other day I was like, oh my gosh, she stalked me, this is an old picture. <laughs> and um, and then she commented and it was a picture of me um, donating plasma. So I was like, wow, okay, she's seeing what I'm up to. This is really nice. Um, yeah, so she's really believing in me. And yeah, that's where we met, which, oh my gosh, one year ago. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, my, next, my next question is actually uh, similar to what is being posted here, similar in this photo. Um, what is your reaction when people are telling that you are a twin sister with <laughs> uh, Queen with Queen P. Um, well, I hoped that it wouldn't like offend her because she's so beautiful. So I didn't want her to think like, "Oh, who's this girl? Like, I don't look like her." But then, um, when I heard it from her, also she said she did a double take when she met me that night. She said she thought she was looking in the mirror. So I was like, "Oh my gosh!" If Pia thinks it also, then okay, I'll accept it. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um, it definitely gives me a confidence boost. Also, like, um, obviously I didn't um 
think I would look like her or ever like try to change what I look like to look like her it just happened and we're on the same journey and we both have the same dreams to represent our country so I'm very grateful that we do look a little um, alike and sometimes she calls me her mini me so yeah very very grateful okay if you if you will be if you're if you're crowned as one of the Binibini Filipinas queens and you will be having now the chance to represent the Philippines in an international pageant, well, hopefully Miss International. <laughs> we are really hoping and, and targeting that one. Um, and you are happen to bump with Pia, with Queen, with Queen P. What advice would you uh, ask her for you to be able to have this confidence in order to compete internationally? Oh, um, I think what I definitely need um, practice with, uh, I mean, discipline. I need, a little, I need a lot of discipline, but I would ask her how she, like, transformed her body. Um, like, I just remember seeing her when she arrived at Miss Universe and her body was like, wow. I was like, is this the same person like how did she do this um like she was so healthy so I need to ask her for the proper balance of food and workout because I'm really so lazy so I need her help with that I saw she helped um Gazzini a bit they would work out so I would love to be able to work out with her I think that would motivate me and definitely um I would love for her help with um Q&A she answered you know, so confidently with a heart, um, you know, she has that memorable answer and it was genuine and just really came from her heart and she's really still working towards her advocacy. So yeah, I just want to ask how, how did she think on the spot of what to say? Um, I don't know if she can really answer it, but I just love to hear her speak and so yeah hopefully I do get to win and I do get to ask her for help and um, I think everyone's seen also that we're going to be mentored by Catriona and Nicole um, actually as candidates we haven't heard much about it yet but I'm so excited for this that we we get to ask them yeah okay um Pia's, Pia's walk during the Miss Universe was called Chameleon Walk and in Miss Universe Philippines, one of the most uh, talk about walk is the walk of Miss Orsogon, Maria Isabel Gal Galeria, the Lambiyong walk. Yes. So are you uh, formulating now or are you in the process of formulating now the name of your walk? Mm -hmm. And how would you uh, like this walk to, to get its debut? Um, ooh. well, honestly, I actually haven't done much walking for a while. I think if I put some heels on, my feet will be in so much pain because I've just been wearing like slippers and socks and that. Um, so it has been a while. So I'm sorry, Kuya Ian. <laughs> so Kuya Ian is our pastorella trainer in Aces and Queens. And we've definitely um, transformed it a lot from last year. I'm very grateful for my team um, last year, but now... Um, Kuya Ian is helping me feel like I'm back in my ballet days, like the movements are long and soft. Um, so I'm not sure how it will look and what type of name it will be. But last year, I just thought on the spot and called it the Rodeo Walk because Maspate is the rodeo capital. Yeah. Um, this year, I'm not sure. I think we'll have to leave it up to everyone. But definitely, if the schedule will be the same as what it was supposed to be, I think... Um, yeah, when it will um, preview or debut will be press presentation. So just like this picture here from press presentation yeah. last year, I think last that will, yeah. So I think that will be where you'll get to see everyone walk, and it's really the a, a special time for all of us candidates that we get. I think it's around one minute we get to wear our sash, say our name, and you hear the facts about us, and it's it's a really nice time for everyone to just watch us individually. So I hope I, I can do a good walk then. Yes. And um when you when we talk about walk, um it's different when you are joining Miss Universe. It's different from your your if you're joining Miss World, Miss International, Miss Supranational. So there's a, actually a, a standard when it, um in terms of walk. So um 
and your team, uh, of course, with Ian is really doing its re- its job. It's uh, it's really doing a good job in uh doing in I'm uh, sorry in actually uh polishing your walk. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. We're, um, we, yeah, we're very lucky with Aces that we obviously do it all together with all the girls, but um, he'll really help us to find what, what we're good at, what pose will work for us, uh, which part of the walk suits each of us. So we don't look the same. That's what I was worried about if I was going to join a camp, that I would look like the other girls, but we all still have our individuality and it's really beautiful. Um, so yeah, thank you, Claire Ian. <laughs> Yeah, and now we are, we just arrived on the first thirty minutes of our live chat interview. Ooh. Now, before we proceed on the second half of our live chat interview, we have this segment called "Picture Mo, Say Mo." So we we grab a uh, five photos from your social media, and we will be flashing them one by one on the screen. So Ooh. once a photo or a picture is being flashed on the screen, please tell us the story behind this. Uh, picture okay, okay ready okay ready so we have picture <laughs> more saying more let's I'm have scared. the first picture oh, oh. wow <laughs> i remember that wow. oh my gosh i haven't seen this for a while so thank you for choosing it if it was um, queer avrin or you thank you um Okay, so for those who don't know, this was actually um, when I applied for Vini Vini Filipinas 2019. Um, so this was in March, and I was actually the first applicant to apply. Um, I arrived like in the afternoon, and I thought maybe a few other girls were there, but I happened to be just the first girl. Um, and I'm very grateful I had a lot of Hannah B's with me. So I think that's why, for those who don't know, this is um, Miss Esther, who is a part of Miss Universe organization. And Catriona happened to be in the Philippines that time. This is in Araneta. So um, Miss Esther was walking around and she must have seen all the fans with me, all the Hannah B's. Um, and that's when we were all kind of shocked I, I remember all of us were thinking oh my god is that her and she was also looking at us like who are they and then we all kind of made eye contact and then she made her way over and I think someone explained to her that I was joining the pageant and she was so lovely I remember she gave me like a high five and she said like good luck um and she said she can't wait to see me on coronation night because she would be coming with Catriona so that was a big um confidence boost again and I was thinking is this like a good luck charm that I'm seeing her and also um Dairy Queen there I really want some right now <laughs> yeah, that's that's the story wow oh my gosh and thank you to Jessie who did my hair and makeup that day Oh my gosh, wow. Yeah, that is a very memorable well, moment. Well, actually, to be honest to you, that was the that was my most favorite look you had. Oh, yay, thank you. Year. You <laughs> you really look like a Barbie doll that <laughs> that day with that actually, orange yeah. dress. Mm-hmm. Actually, we hadn't planned anything. I didn't realize that there was a lot of thought that you should like prepare what hair, what makeup you want. Actually, we just showed up met up with jesse and then we said what dress am i gonna wear and then sarah patrick sent one and we didn't even fit and then it just all worked out so well and we were just like okay let's just straighten the hair let's just do this and we were all just guessing that day and yeah it really worked out so nice yes yeah. okay let's have the second okay. let's have the second picture picture more say more <laughs> <laughs> yes okay um so for those who don't know who that is that's one of my best friends marlo so um i actually met him at my debut so i had my 18th in manila and one of my family friends organized um a singer to come and it was him and i had no idea who he was so i was just like who is this guy singing to me um but we became best friends so 
um, yeah, so that was 2014 that I turned 18. Um, so this is in his house. He has a big collection of Spider-Man stuff, as you can see in the background. And yeah, we've um, stayed friends for a long time. Um, actually, he was messaging Isabella and I earlier because he wants some questions for his upcoming vlog. So yeah, we're all like best friends and very grateful for his support. And I think that also helped me going into the pageant that coming from his experience um, as an artista, you know, he gave me a lot of tips with, you know, just how to deal with um, your emotions and, you know, when you're nervous and that. So, yeah, very grateful. And then, yeah, this, I can't remember um, why he's like asleep there, <laughs> but yeah, we're very good friends. Okay, now let's have the third picture. Picture more, say more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Charlie B. Oh my gosh, I want some chicken joy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow, okay. Um I don't know when this is it, like when what year this was. Um but wow, yeah, so obviously I didn't grow up in the Philippines, but whenever my sister and I would see that we were about to land in the Philippines, we would always scream like Jollibee, because you can see the Jollibee sign when you're up in the air. So we would always come to Jollibee, and I think um, I was just so obsessed that I was like, Mom, take my picture with him. Um, but wow, I really miss my fashion. I think that's a Powerpuff Girl bag, and then, you know, all the butterfly clip. Um, and I think I don't know if a lot of people know but I have a problem when there's a flash on the camera I always blink my eyes are so sensitive so you can see here my eyes are closed because I blinked um, so that's pretty funny but wow I think there's even like Star Wars in the background so well this is a really long time ago but yeah oh my gosh I'll have to reenact that soon <laughs> okay Let's have the fourth, the second to the last. Picture more, say more. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yay. Okay. Um, so I remember I posted this as a good luck message for Patch last year when she was in Miss International. Um, so this photo shoot, uh, we were both invited to model for Sir Albert for Tevion, the makeup brand. And... Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. Like I've never seen such a beautiful outcome from, from a photo shoot. Actually, we weren't supposed to have a picture together, but because we were so excited to see each other again, we asked them, can we do one together? And we were just doing it on our phones. And then the photographer said, actually, this is really beautiful. Put your heads closer. And then he took it and yeah, it just came out so beautiful. Um, so, oh my gosh, I, I hope maybe this is another sign for something in the future. But yeah, yeah, yeah sure. uh, oh my gosh, I miss her. But there's, there's also mm. one of my favorite photos, really captivating and serene. Yes, that team is amazing. I really miss photo shoots, but for everyone's safety, we'll just wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have the last one. Ooh. So we have picture more, say more. Oh, 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 thank you. Also, this is why Kuya Arvin said I might cry. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is my Lola. Um, so this is a, a video that I recently posted because unfortunately um, she did pass away, but you know, now she's my guardian angel. So um, I'm very lucky that this was actually captured uh, at the start of March. I went to Maspate to film a video that would be um, used by Bini Bini at one of our future events. And I'm so grateful that we were able to capture this. So thank you so much to um, Michael and Arv and my team who, yeah, yeah. who were filming it. It came out so beautiful. And wow, I look really tan there also <laughs> from, from the boat ride. But um, yeah, oh my gosh, I, I loved um, sitting with her. She would always just talk about my parents and say when is your dad coming here <laughs> and then we joke that oh it's too hot for him here in the province and um we were video calling everyone that day and um this is at the front of her house she always sits there and 
you walk past and you're welcome to come in. You can watch TV with her. She really welcomed everyone in. And I think that's where I get that quality from. Um, so I definitely miss her. And I, I remember she was so excited to watch my coronation. So I'll definitely um, have to make her very proud um, when coronation night comes around. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so that's our picture mo sa yung segment. And thank you, thank you for your team. Of course, your team there in Masbate. The well, Michael Las Pinas, yes. the the Volvo, and of course the other uh, Arvin. Uh, who's that? Okay. <laughs> who's that? Arvin, are you watching? <laughs> okay. So let's read some of the comments. Yay! Okay, from our live. Yay, okay. Thank you, everyone. From Farhan Patan, he, uh, he said hi. And we have Duke Palakpak uh, watching from YouTube. Uh, he said hello. And from Jerson, hi, Queen Hannah. Yay, hi, Jerson. Hi, everyone. Hi, Duke. And who is the first one again? Sorry. Um, Farhan. Hi, Farhan. Oh. Yay. Yeah, Farhan think, Patan. Oh, very nice name. And, um, <laughs> yes, I think he is... Uh, He's not a Filipino, maybe a Cambodian, mm. because we have uh, viewers from Cambodia. Wow. And we have Mark, we have Mark Kim, Ken Gusela Almirol. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah, my idol. Oh, hi, Mark Kim. Thank you so much for watching. Mm. Okay, next we have Alorenz. Uh, Alorenz said, very fresh, si Hannah OMG. <laughs> I thank you. <laughs> okay. And maybe maybe I'm just fresh because I don't have Jesse to do my makeup. So so minimal <laughs> no makeup makeup look. And we have from Arvin, ang ganda naman po nung nasa kaliwa. Um, who's on the left ba? You. Oh, OMG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, from from Alorens, pa shout out please. Hi, Alrens. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're safe and I can't wait to see you very soon. Love you. <laughs> okay, from Arvin. Pa shout out naman po, Ate Hana. <laughs> Hi, Arvin. I hope to meet you soon. Char. <laughs> um, joke, everyone. This is my friend, Arvin, who yeah. is such a good photographer. A lot of the pictures yeah. I post is from him. He always takes my OOTD. So thank you, Arvin Basihan. <laughs> Again, from Mark Kim, uh, pa shout out po, Queen Hana. Hi, Mark Kim. Thank you, thank you so much for your love and support. And I hope to see you very soon. Love you. <laughs> okay, from Elaine Budiongan. Hi, Queen. Hi, Elaine. And I, from I am Mam Kaka, Masbate Pride. Oh, yay. Hi. I am Mam Kaka. <laughs> Yay, Maspate. <laughs> From Arnold Simon. Hi, cousin Hannah. Oh, wow. So beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful and intelligent. Very eloquent. Oh, yay. Thank you, Arnold. Yep, that's a very good name. Very good. <laughs> yeah, Arnold. We have, uh, okay, we have Elaine. But uh, she wants a shout out. Oh, hi, Elaine. Sorry, wait, can you pronounce her last name again? Budiongan. Uh, okay. Hi, Elaine Budiongan. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Budiongan. <laughs> okay. Sure. Hi, Elaine Budiongan. Um, thank you so yep. much for the love and support and for watching it. I think you're watching on YouTube. So thank you so much. Like and like and subscribe, Joke. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope to see you very soon. Love you. <laughs> and again from I am Mam Kaka, my Miss International, Gandang Mas um, Batenya. Yeah, thank you so much, Po. Thank you. <laughs> From AJ Buscon Celia Rodriguez. Hi to the international queen. Hope you'll conquer Miss Um. Hope you'll conquer international scene. Heart, Aww. heart, 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 heart. <laughs> Thank you, AJ. That's so nice. Thank you. Hope to see you very soon. And watching of uh, uh Katrina Eugenio. Hannah. Oh, 
Hi, hi Atikat. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you. I miss you. Hope you're safe and belated happy birthday. Yes. Okay, uh, from AJ Basconcilia Rodriguez. Hope for your big comeback para muling sumigla ang kubaw. Wow, <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to go and kubaw have a big party when all of us are back. Yay! Stay safe. <laughs> from, Mar- from Marielle Trisha Mendoza Floresca. Go, Hannah! Oh, my Trisha! Hi! <laughs> Stay safe in Sorsagon. Yes. From Jerson, go Hannah Arnold, Queen B. Oh, yay. I miss you. I hope you're staying very safe in Mandaluyong. I think you are there still. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you so much for all your hard work for helping your community. Love you so much. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, we have... Uh-huh. Let me see. Okay. There you go. From Taya Medina. Go Ate Hannah. We must batenos believe in you. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I hope to meet you very soon. Thank you. Okay, from Nico de la Cruz. Hi, Dalia and Ate Hannah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Danico. <laughs> Danico. Yeah, okay. Danico. From Robilin Ibai, Hannah with a heart. Oh, hi. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, everyone. Send your questions for Queer Dale. He will answer yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> from our, from our Winchester Basihan. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from Marielle, Trisha Floresca. Hannabis, let's make some noise. <laughs> yes, definitely, we will. <laughs> we will soon. Okay. From Joel Balia. Hi, Hannah. Hi. From, hi. Jo- <laughs> from Depoy Esquilio. Hi, Queen Hannah Arnold. Oh, hi. Thank you for watching. <laughs> and also, Depoy es- Esquilio said Miss International. Oh, thank you so much, Depoy. Yee, stay safe, and I hope to meet you very soon. Yes. From Steve Conception to my Miss International. Oh, thank you. Hi, Steve. Yes. From Marielle Trisha Floresca. Pa shout out to Kuya Dale. Hello, everyone, for watching right now. I hope you're enjoying the live chat interview. Hello, Marielle. Hope you're doing well. Stay safe there in Masbate. Or in Source of rather. Yeah. yeah. Well, From Joe Moore. From Jomar uh, Bayaga. Mention naman po, Han Arnold. Hi, Kuya Dale. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Jomar. I yes. miss you. Uh, dito lang po kami supporting. Thank you very much, Jomar. Oh, thank you. From, from Robilin Ibay. Pa-shout out din po. Hi, Robilin Ibai. Um, I hope to meet you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Yee, I love you guys. <laughs> From John L. Season, pa shout out din po. Hi, John L. Season. Thank you so much for the love and support. <laughs> Stay safe. Okay, from Joe Mar, uh, he asked. Hannah Arnold, what can you say to the masbate na may two cases na ng COVID-19? Mm-hmm. Yes, so unfortunately, this news came in the other night that two um, students returning home from Manila, um, unfortunately, are positive. Um, but we're very lucky that they were tested and quarantined um, straight away. Um you know, so don't lose the faith, guys. I know um, a lot of us are a bit scared now and nervous, but um, the locals there um, are very wise, very cautious. They're, um, even though the um, protocols and regulations were lifted quite a while ago, I know that everyone there is still really social distancing and staying safe. So I think we're going to be okay, and these two cases will be um okay these two students will hopefully recover very soon and you know 
we're gonna be okay there. So everyone just stay positive. We're very resilient and um, you know very very good uh, people there. So <laughs> I hope um, everything will be okay. And I hope all over the Philippines, um, everyone still can follow the regulations, and hopefully the cases will go down very soon. Well, I, I, I really, uh, um, let me just uh, uh, share my thoughts. Um, I really admire most of the LGUs of Bicol, of uh, Bicolandia, of this region. Um, they're doing a really, really good job in this time of pandemic. Yes, they really so, are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. We have oh, Jamar Aquino, Go Queen. The one uh, who is making your portrait. Oh, yay! Hi, Jamar. How's your love yeah. life? <laughs> yeah. From, okay, from Marielle Trisha Mendoza Flores. Pansinin mo po ako, Kuya Dale. Done. Okay, done. <laughs> oh, my okay. God. Okay. So, <laughs> from Gerson. Hi, Queen Hannah. Since you are uh, rep since, since you're representing the province of Masbate, in current news, is uh, there is a for the first case of of what's this cases uh in Masbate that recorded. What is your opinion in Balik Provincia program of the government? Is it good to continue, or the government should stop this program for the safety of many, especially the provinces? Mm -hmm. Um, well, it's. It would be a bit uh, hypocritical of me to say that it should stop for for the safety because I was very lucky that I was able to go be with my parents. Um, so I definitely see that a lot of these people, they just want to go home to be with their family. So I know um, there's a lot of things to think about because we do risk the safety of those in the provinces. But also the mental health of these people that have been in quarantine so far away from their families, I think they need to be reunited. But I think um, there should be certain things still, like um, they should be able to have a free test before they um, leave. Um, they should have uh, proper documentation, but it shouldn't really be up to them to go out and get it because that puts more risk on them. So I think we need... Um, help uh, better help that will come to them instead and then when they arrive in their provinces definitely do the 14 day quarantine and then i think everything will work out okay so um yeah it's there are pros and cons of it but i'm very lucky that i'm with my family so i do want to see everyone uh back with their family also okay Okay, from Marielle, Trisha, Floresca. Shout out po, Kuya Dale. Wow! Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. Listen up. Grabe. Katrina Eugenio, thank you. Uh, she said thank you a, a while ago. She, uh, you greeted her happy birthday. Oh, yay. Sorry, from Jomar. Well, I think uh, she already gave her opinion about the COVID-19 case. Nico, hi, Dalia and Atehan. Okay, hi, hello, Nico. <laughs> From Marielle, Trisha, Mendoza, Floresca. Fast talk, Dalia or Millard? Ha, 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 Arbin. <laughs> um, is that for me to, an <laughs> for me to answer? <laughs> I have to answer it. Okay. I, um, <laughs> wait, what? Joma. Wait, what's the options again, Kuyadale? Again? Dahlia or Millard? Oh, I answered no. Arvin. Oh, <laughs> for me, I choose uh, um, Daniko. <laughs> Dan yes. yes, Daniko, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ayun. From Mariel Trisha Floresca again, fast talk. Dairy Queen or Taco Bell? Oh, oh my gosh. Why can't we have both? You have Taco Bell first, yeah. and you have the Dairy Queen yeah, after. Yeah, Dairy Queen after. And, yeah, and in Araneta City, it's just upstairs and downstairs. So, oh my gosh, have both. You can't have one or yeah. the other. Both of them. Well, well actually, we, we can we can dine in right now, but it, we have to adapt with the new normal situation mm -hmm. that uh, when you dine 
out or yes when you dine out somewhere there is there is a social distancing okay. to be followed yes that's very yeah. good yes mm-hmm. and like like uh in a certain in a table there's uh only one to occupy mm. only one so yeah. if you're a family of four you are you're, you're going to occupy four tables oh no that's it's a bit scary but um yeah again for everyone's safety yes Okay, from Gerson, thank you, Queen Hannah, for the loving message. I really appreciate it. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> from Marielle, where's Millard? <laughs> yeah. Maybe, um, I think he's working, maybe, or... Who's he? Who's that? <laughs> okay. From Marielle, uh, my Floresca and Mendoza family is are also watching oh hi floresca and mendoza family thank you for watching and not only for supporting me but i hope you also support trisha in her um pageant journeys also and she's a really good leader in her school so i'm very proud of her <laughs> yes okay um now let's go back now um let's have your journey last year on bini bining filipinas 2019 um, uh, what what is actually uh, your reaction on uh, when when uh, the question about the uh, millennial politicians are being elected? Mm-hmm. Um, well, by that, so elections had just finished, so I had been preparing myself for anything that may be asked, and it's a bit difficult when it's. Um, a government question because you don't want to offend anyone but you want to stay true to yourself also and so we all have a lot of opinions and everything and um, a lot of people think that maybe I wasn't updated with what's happening and who the leaders are but I was very updated I was very prepared but I think that's why um, the nerves really got to me and I was searching in my mind for uh, what's the right answer but I shouldn't have looked up here I should have just answered more from my heart which I I was kind of getting there but then when I just saw everyone in the crowd you know you do get quite nervous and um, that's why I just kind of laughed at myself because I was like oh no everyone's gonna laugh at me so I'll just laugh at myself um, so obviously it wasn't the best way to end a serious message but um it is a bit, it, you know, I, I want to give a big shout out to everyone that answers so beautifully when they're up on stage because it's, it's really such a difficult thing. Um, so I wish there was a way that we were given more time to share a better answer, a better message. But um, I have been practicing and I hope that um, this time around I'll be able to answer from the heart a lot better. Yes. Now, can you tell us? Uh, what is the difference of Hana in 2019 and the Hana of 2020? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, well, physical change. My hair is a different color now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely by oh. being in a training camp with Aces and Queens, um, I have absorbed so much from the other girls not uh copying their answers or anything but you learn so much from hearing their different perspectives so i think this is something that uh i'm very lucky that i'm when i will speak this time when i will perform i'll be bringing in what i've learned from everyone also and i'll be representing everyone it's not only myself this time because i think i was just caught up on um, trying to do my best but this time I need to do it as if I'm representing everyone already um, well we already are representing our provinces so um, this time definitely my heart is just more focused on yeah doing it as Miss Masbate and I think definitely with my modeling um, I'll have a lot more confidence and 
Um, yeah, again, I haven't really trained for a while now, so I think that's something that I need to go back into. But um, I think there have been a lot of improvements. And yeah, I'm just very excited for when we can go back and everyone can see for themselves the transformation I've had. Um, I think also what I realized, because I've had a lot more time now in quarantine to rewatch yeah. videos from last year. And um, I think it's hard to explain to some people that don't uh, go up on stage like we do. But when you're on stage, you feel like you've been there for so long. So when I was re-watching my videos, I move too quickly. That's what I realize. Because um, I'm like, oh my god, I've been here for too long. Everyone will think, why is this girl here? Keep on moving. But um, this time, I'm definitely going to take my time. Um, let everyone see me and the beautiful creations I'm wearing. So, yeah, I'll, I'll go slower this time. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that is why that we, you made us more excited <laughs> knowing that. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, I just want to know uh, what collectively, okay, collectively, uh, as a uh, as uh, Binibining Filipinas Queen of 2020. What was your reaction when you found out that uh, you will be having this online mentoring with Nicole Cordovas and Catriona Gray? Mm -hmm. um, well, actually, we were all shocked. We have a, um, a group chat, all 40 of us candidates, and someone took a screenshot from a pageant page, and we were thinking, oh, what is this? We haven't actually um, heard about this yet. Um, so we were all actually very happy. This is such an amazing opportunity for us because uh, last year, unfortunately, because Catriona was the reigning Miss Universe, we weren't able to see her. Like past years, uh, the previous winners will be mentoring the girls. So last year, we missed out on that opportunity. So I'm very lucky that now that I'm back again, I will get to meet her and speak with her. And uh, Nicole also, um, I've met her on a few occasions. And she really, um, you know, makes you feel like you're like, that what you're saying is important and everything. So she will definitely help us a lot. Um, so I think all of us are excited and we're all just waiting for when it's gonna be. We're not sure if it's gonna be broadcast to everyone or if it's a private thing, but no matter what it is, we're all very grateful, that's for sure. Okay, um, Miss Philippines Earth is actually the very first uh, pageant doing a virtual competition. Now, um. As a Binibini queen, whenever, uh, let's say, uh, the Binibini announced that they will do the same, um, are you or uh, what will be your reaction if uh, this happens to Binibini that you will be having a virtual one? Yes, yeah, so I've been, um, I haven't been watching live when it's been happening, but I've seen some um, snippets that pages post after the uh, activities are done. So I've seen some girls like Shane and Roxy because I'm friends with them. And honestly, I don't think I would have been able to do it. I wouldn't have had the same energy. Um, I think I would have been still very scared with what's going on. And um, like, I'm just very amazed. And I just want to congratulate all those girls for still powering through they find really beautiful locations they're keeping safe i see they're wearing their masks and they're distancing very far from their team um if we were to do it virtually i would be a little scared because um obviously i'm here so i wouldn't have like jesse to do my hair and makeup or sir patrick to style me um but like it would be exciting it would be a new thing but I think what makes Bini Bini so special is that when you hear the fans cheering, that's what, uh, you know, gives us more confidence and makes us feel so excited mm. and like, wow, we're really a Bini Bini. And it wouldn't be the same because there's like Parade of Beauties, Jag Fashion Show, oh. um, all of these. Even when you're done with an activity for the day and seeing the fans outside, that's what really makes the pageant experience so nice. So I really hope that uh, we can hold off until mass gatherings are allowed. So then we'll go back to a normal um, pageant experience. But yeah, again, these girls are doing really amazing. Even the MUP girls, I see they're doing some online things. 
Um, so again, I, I think I, I would be very nervous in that situation. Now, Hannah, how do you embody the hashtag of Binibining Pilipinas? I am Binibining. Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't heard that hashtag for a while. Um, well, like um, I said in the in that little video that was shown at the start of this, we were asked to answer that. Um, and actually, I heard it from one of my fans. He told me that um, what makes a queen is how she you know, wears her invisible crown and her sash, but the sash is really your golden heart. And I think that's what I've learned this year uh, and from last year that um, you're a bini bini if you're just true to yourself and you always wear your crown and you're thinking of others. And uh, I hope that, you know, what I'm doing will be enough to uh, inspire other people um, you know, that I keep on helping other people. And uh, one of the sayings that I really like is you have two hands, one to help yourselves and the second to help those around you. So, you know, um, as a Bini Bini, I am learning through all of this experience. We have all the training. And then from that, I'm able to help the people around me. So, uh, yeah, I think I think that's what makes me a Bini Bini. But <laughs> okay. Now, Hannah, what? do you think is the major lesson that we should, that all of us must learn from this pandemic? Every one of um, us. Mm -hmm. That um, we're all equal. You know, we were all put on lockdown. We were all um, made to wash our hands. You know, there aren't some people that don't have to. There aren't some people that were able to go out. We're all equal. We're all human. Um, so, you know, when we come out of this pandemic, I hope everyone remembers that, that no matter what color you are, no matter what religion you have, uh, if you're a boy or a girl, if you're from the LGBTQIA plus community, we were all on lockdown because we're all equal. So I hope people come out and still look out for their neighbors, still help each other and, um, you know, still share love and show that same care and same respect and keep on looking out for your friends because that's what um I'm very grateful for I have those friends like Karina, Pat and Isabella and every day they'll ask me how are you and that's something that we didn't really ask each other before the pandemic so I hope that everyone continues to check on everyone and realize that um you know, mental health is something to watch out for. So there's a lot of lessons to come out from this. But yeah, we're all equal and check on your neighbors and friends every day. Okay. Now your message of hope to everyone. Um, you know, we it's really hard to deal with it. Lots of lots of people lost their job. Uh, family members are uh well, getting sick, and some of the, some are dying. What is your message of hope for, for everyone? Um, I know that I'm just I'm just one girl. I'm just Hannah, a 24 year old. But um, I hope that yeah, this message will help you. Um, just remember that uh, if God changes your direction, it was for His protection. So I saw that quote by a fellow uh, Bini Bini. She posted it. So this journey, it was just a little detour that we needed because God was protecting us from something else. Um, so unfortunately, yes, we are going through a lot of struggles, but God has a greater purpose for us. We just have to trust in him that this was all meant for something. We can see that the earth is healing. Um, you know, we're seeing clearer skies, clearer waters. And it's because God wants us to have a better um, earth to live on. So, yeah, we just have to really um, keep on praying and believing in him that uh, this will end soon. And, um, yeah, there is hope and light at the end of this tunnel because um, one of my favorite quotes is, um, stars shine the brightest in the dark. So we're going through this dark tunnel for a little while but we're gonna come out shining we're gonna um, get through this together so again just trust in god 
Yes. And uh, for the last comment on our comment section from uh, from Arnold Simon. Uh, hi, Arvin. Hi, Queen Ha. Um, do you plan to compete for Miss Universe Philippines in the future? Uh, with your beauty, height, and intelligence, I feel that you are a strong contender for Miss Universe Philippines. Uh, oh. That's from Arnold mm -hmm. Simon. Um, thank you so much. Um, this is something that I was considering for a while, but um, at the moment, obviously, I'm in Bini Bini. So we're going to see what happens if I end up winning one of the crowns and hopefully internationally, then that will change my journey for the rest, um, not for the rest of my life, but uh, for a few months. And then from there, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not uh crossing it off completely but right now just focusing on this this pageant um but thank you so much for believing in me and there are a lot yeah. of beautiful girls that will make perfect representatives okay from arnold simon hi dale hello arnold and thank you for uh tuning in with us and um from uh right we are right aludia ozeron hi hannah Hi, Queer Reich. I miss you. It's been a very long time since I saw you. Um, and congratulations on your vlogging. I see you're doing a lot of YouTube yeah. videos. Yeah. And last one from Ariel, Trisha Floresca. Fast talk. Having milky dates or having a free taste of ice cream? Ooh. Um, oh, why can't you have both again, Chuck? Um, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely miss milk tea. Um, yeah. Obviously, I didn't have any romantic dates because we're long forever. But I miss the <laughs> I miss the milk tea dates with all the friends and family and Hannabees. Um, yeah, I miss that because milk tea isn't really popular here. I've only seen one mm. shop. Um, that's all. We don't have many here. Okay, how was that? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Last, haha. Okay, <laughs> from from Basihan. Last, haha. <laughs> okay. Now, Hannah, I'll give you I'll give you now the floor to promote your advocacy. I know that there's already a social media account for this. Please do uh promote it now and um uh, tell us how are we be able to how can we support this advocacy and mm -hmm. your social media accounts. Where can we follow you? Where can we add you or like you where can we stalk you <laughs> yes okay, I'll give you an okay. Um, okay thank you so much well thank you everyone for watching um if you're not sick of me yet then please follow my instagram which is arnold han underscore and you can add me on facebook at hannah arnold um maybe you'll have a few mutual mutual friends so you'll be able to find me i think there are a few accounts but um, yeah, hopefully you can find me. It's just Hannah Arnold on Facebook. And like Koya Dale has said, I do have a social media page for my advocacy. So it's called Books of Tomorrow PH. And the reason I made this page was because obviously um, school unfortunately had to stop because of the pandemic. And um, it became a bit difficult for people to find resources of how to keep their children educated and busy. So I created it to come up with ideas and activities. Um, but also uh, because I am giving school supplies and hopefully building some more libraries in Masbate very soon, I want to use this page to hopefully uh, get more people seeing it not only my hannabees but hopefully more people around the world will follow and want to donate to help uh, build these libraries and give books because like my saying is with a book a child can read today and with a pencil they will write their own future tomorrow so at the moment i'm not sure when i will launch this but i'm designing like a t-shirt that um, hopefully if you buy one you will also be purchasing like a school supply set and the school supply and a t-shirt will be sent 
to a child, uh, a child in a um, low income community, but you will also get the shirt for yourself. So I'm still figuring out how I'm going to do this. But if you follow the page, you'll be updated very soon. Um, so there might be a hat, a shirt. And yeah, so you're getting something that says Books of Tomorrow, but then you're also helping a child. So I'm very excited for this. So stay tuned. I'm not sure if it will be soon because um, I have to make sure it's all perfect but we'll surely do it before school goes back in august so again it's books of tomorrow ph and hannah arnold on facebook so yeah thank you again everyone <laughs> yes that's it that's well that that uh, that is really a colorful and a very meaningful advocacy okay okay from uh let's have this one um uh basihan how about free curling ha 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 um so I'll share this story. So one day I was going um, to watch the Mix Music Awards, I think it was. And I was in such a rush because I um, quickly took the FX. So my hair was still wet from the shower. So when I got to Kubal, I met up with Arvin. And um, he was saying, oh my gosh, girl, your hair, it's a bit um, messy. So we quickly went into SM. And, you know, you can um, test the the hair uh, curling. So the lady uh, said, oh, ma'am, I'll help uh, curl your hair. And so actually she curled my hair for free. And I felt so beautiful after that and was able to attend the event with really nice curled yeah. hair. So <laughs> I'm not sure if you can do that now because of the COVID restrictions, but that was very nice that she curled it for free for me. <laughs> okay. Okay, this one. Uh, last, last, last three. Um, from Reich, from Queer Reich. I'll uh, see you soon, Sir Dale and Hannah. Yeah, from... see you soon. From Ace Adrian, love you, Hannah. You have my 100% support. Oh, thank you, Ace. I hope to meet you very soon. And last one from Shane Benitez Frogosa. Notice me, Lodi, Hannah. Hi, Shane Benitez Frogosa. I've noticed you, and thank you so much. Stay safe and virtual hugs and kisses. <laughs> Yeah, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, we had this beautiful chance of having this long chat interview with the one and only Miss uh, Binibini Filipinas 2020 candidate from Masbate, Miss Hannah Arnold. Thank you so much, Hannah, for glancing us this uh, afternoon. You made everyone's afternoon really meaningful <laughs> and beautiful. Okay, now, um, to our viewers, thank you so much for watching from the start till the end of this live chat interview. And please don't forget to uh, subscribe on our official uh, social media accounts at Entertainment News Portal on our Facebook. Just type on the search engine of your Facebook, Entertainment News Portal. And please do follow or subscribe and like our page to get updates. And our official uh, website at www entertainmentnewsportal.com and our official YouTube channel at Arvin Cabachete. This live chat interview is uh, seen or this is uh, simultaneously broadcast on our Facebook page, official uh, website, and official YouTube channel. So you have three plat platforms to watch our live, ch live chat interviews. And if you miss some of our live chat interviews before, you can just drop by to our official YouTube channel and all of our live chat interviews were available there. Okay, thank you very much. And please uh, stay connected with us because uh, we will be announcing who will be our next guest for next week. Wow. Okay, just uh, stay tuned on our official Facebook page for updates. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thank you so much. I am your ENP correspondent, entertainment news portal correspondent, Dale. And remember that uh, in this uh, times, we are one. We are together. So we should follow all the safety protocols for our safety. And uh, together, stay safe, stay home, and together we heal as one. Hannah, thank you so much. Yay. And <laughs> thank have you for Yes. Have a blessed day. Have a, have a blessed night, everyone. Yay. Goodbye.
Bye, everyone. Enjoy your dinner and food, and see you all very soon. Thank you, EMP. Love you guys.